had it and he was determined to make it happen. because I think this is a quintessentially British way of campaigning on something. I love the idea of all these dogs as man's best friend coming and telling man and woman when they think they might be in trouble. But there is a serious message behind this, which is that increasingly the public are looking at Brexit and going, OK, so this is something very different to maybe what was talked about in 2016. And when do we get our say to say, OK, is that what we wanted or do we want something different? And I support that. I support the idea of a people's vote. I don't think if you said to me, go away and negotiate something, you wouldn't want to know what I've negotiated and have some input on that. And I think it's exactly the same now. The British public need to have a say about whether what the government comes back with is good enough, whether they want something different, or whether actually having looked at all the detail, they decide that we're better off staying in the European Union. Well, I think when you start to look at the very serious planning that's now going into the idea that we won't have a deal and stockpiling medicines and turning the M62 into a lorry park and companies already planning to leave, you start realising that any Brexit has a negative economic and social context.